And I'm back already. I ain't fucking around on this playthrough, alright? I mean, we're getting, we're getting down to business. And speaking of business, speaking of business, sit your ass down. Grab up some popcorn. Let me tell you about. So I had, I needed another voice actor. You know, I needed another voice from one of my videos. It was a league video, and I needed another guy's voice. So I'm always seeing these people like, like it's kind of sad. Like you see them on the street with like a cardboard sign, need work. So I go up to one of these guys, and I'm like, I got some work for you. And it's, it's kind of funny, you know. It's not the kind of work they think they're going to get. And I'm like, oh, you just come on down to my place. And uh, you just record some stuff. Some voice work. And, you know, and they're kind of weirded out by it. And I'm like, what kind of work did, are they expecting to do? I mean, what, what else are they going to do? They're probably thinking, like, physical work, physical labor. But this is easier than that. And they don't, they were like, they don't, they'd rather do that than this, it seems. So I get this guy, I get this guy, uh, he's out there with his sign. And I'm like, hey, you want to come and do some stuff? I'll pay you like, I'll pay you like 120 for an hour, hour of work. That's got to be better money than he's ever going to get working. Come on. And then, so he takes the deal. He takes it. I bring him back, I bring him back to my place. It's kind of weird. You know, just letting some stranger in, some hobo looking guy. But I'm like, you know, just come in, uh, I get you a drink, and I sit him down in front of the microphone. And then, uh, I, I bring up the script, and I have him, I say, okay, now say, say this into the microphone. I sit him down, he drinks, he drinks his water, you know, it's all comfortable. The situation is, it's kind of calm at this point. I say, say into the microphone now. Uh, Dunderbutt. He looks at me like I just murdered his family. It's just Dunderbutt. And he's like, why do I why do I have to say Dunderbutt? And I look into his eyes and I say, look, bitch. There's either there's two ways you're getting out of here. Alright? You're either getting out of here in a fucking trash bag, or you're gonna walk out of here a made man. So you know, he's, he's kind of intimidated by me. I'm holding a knife at this point. Up to his neck. He says, he says, All right, all right. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll give him my best. I'll give him my best. So he goes up to it. Thunderbutt. I'm like, that's not funny, okay? Damn video game, donkey. I know funny. That's not funny. And then I make him do it again. He's like, Thunderbutt. He's all stiff. No, it's not. It's not funny. It sounds forced. It sounds like somebody's forcing a knife to this man's throat, forcing him to say "dunderbutt." That's exactly what was happening. So, uh, I pretty much I said, "Look, if you don't get it right this next time, I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna fucking cut your throat and kill you." And at this point, he's he's literally he's crying, begging for his life. Uh, it, it's pretty, it's pretty funny. It's pretty. One second, guys. I mean, <clears throat> so. Oh yeah, so he's sitting there, he's crying. Uh, I say, look, motherfucker, you, you got one more shot, and if you fuck this one up, you and me, we're done. You especially, though, you're gonna be dead. So he he goes, a dunderbutt, and it was perfect, you know. I, 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 I there was a giant smile on my face. I said, you know, thanks for coming out. I gave him the money. Uh. And then he just, he went back down, I don't know where he went. He went back down in the street, he, I just kind of escorted him out. 